The Talking Crow. A man and a woman lived on a farm, and a big green tree lay or stood、uh, in the yard of the farm. There a crow lived.、Uh, the crow's name was Shimsaladim. Shimsalim. Why? Because that's what the crow said all the time. Shim, shimsaladim. Shimsaladim. One day,、uh, the man and the woman thought, "Let's teach the crow to say something else." Okay, good idea. So、uh, the woman,、uh, they were a little annoyed at the crow. So the woman ran to the tree and said, "Shoo, shoo, go away! Shoo, shoo, go away!"、Uh, and the crow liked these words, so the crow said, "Shoo, shoo, go away! Shoo, shoo, go away!" One day, the farmer and his wife were out. Friends came by, maybe a man, a woman, and their child to visit. And suddenly, they heard "shoo shoo go away, shoo shoo go away." They looked around. They didn't see anybody, and they left. <laughs> When the farmer and the wife came back, they realized what had happened, and they were upset. So the wife went to the tree and said, "Do come in, do come in." Um, the crow liked these words. Do come in, do come in. So one day again, the wife was out in the woods picking berries.、Uh, along came a hungry tramp,、uh, knocked on the door, and the crow says, "Do come in, do come in." Do you mean go in? Do come in, do come in.、Um, so、uh, the hungry tramp went inside. And sat down, and the dinner was on the table. Ate everything. Ate the 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 farmer and the wife's whole dinner. And the farmer and the wife came home and found no dinner and everything, all the food eaten. Now they were really angry.、Uh, so they went outside, and、uh, the farmer shouted, "Don't say anything! Don't say anything!" The crow liked this. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. And then the farmer's wife said, "That's right. That's right." And the crow learned that one too. That's right. That's right. One day, the cow, the farmer's cow, was playing in the corn was in the cornfield. This is a problem. A friend of the farmer came by and saw this, and was going to go and tell the farmer, but the crow's voice called out, "Don't say anything." Don't say anything. What? Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Have you told the farmer already? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. So the friend went away. The farmer, when the farmer and the wife learned what had happened, now they were furious, and、uh, especially the farmer, and he wanted to go out and, oh, I don't know.、Uh, Hurt the crow or something, though he couldn't do that very well. But then the farmer and the wife got to thinking. Wait a minute. All of this teaching the crow words has caused nothing but trouble. Shim saladim, shim saladim. The crow liked it. That was his. What shall we call it? Slogan, motto before. Shim saladim, shim saladim. And so that's all the crow said, and the farmer. And the wife were happy again. The Talking Crow. Number one. Who was Shimsaladim? Number two. Why was his name Shimsaladim? Number three. What did the man and woman decide to do one day? Number four. What did the woman teach the crow? Number five. Why did the farmer's friends go home? Number six. What did the woman teach Shimsaladim next? Number seven. Why was this phrase bad? Number eight. What phrase did the crow learn next? Number nine. What did a friend of the farmer see in the cornfield? Number ten. Why did the friend not tell the farmer? Number eleven. 
What did the farmers teach the crow next?